and now giving your career a tune-up. No matter what your job is, there are always complaints. For some, it's the hours or the pay or maybe it's the boss. For months you've been hinting that I was in line for that promotion? And look how hard you've been working. What, you just lying to me? Lying? No, Nick. Motivating. I mean, look, we're all part of the It same can be tough here. to find Plus, job satisfaction no, in today's world, but if you're chores. feeling overworked and underpaid, you know, month, there are some things you can do. And to get your work life again, on the yeah. right track, Erica Diamond is here. She's an entrepreneur, author, and success coach. She's live in Montreal with five steps to enhance our careers. Good morning to you. Good morning. So, Erica, I, let's start with the first step. What is it? Well, the first step in tuning up your career would be to obviously examine your life, <laughs> see where you're at, and then set some goals. So you want to ask yourself questions like, am I happy in my current job? Am I stuck in a rut? Is there a job, a dream job that I have that I'd like to pursue? Um, another great question to ask yourself is, are you looking for more of a corporate environment or do you want a smaller company, sort of, you know, the big fish in a small pond sort of setting? Um, a, a good thing for you to do if you're really stuck and unsure of where to go is to take some self-assessment quizzes uh, or even work with a career coach is always helpful as well. Well, we throw around the term networking quite a lot and we know that it's important, but how do you go about um, I guess if you don't have one, getting one. And if you have one, how do you expand it and how important is that? Well, you know what? I'd like to touch firstly on networking. I work with so many people in business and the number one thing that they tell me is I hate networking. I get into a room, I freeze, I don't know what to do with myself. And you know what I say? Get over it. You are not going to grow your database or your list of contacts without getting out there and by sitting behind a desk all day. So the first thing you need to do is to make a list of all those people you know that are close to you, that may be connected to your field of choice, to your career choice. Uh, teachers, old teachers, peers, colleagues, friends, cousins. Uh, but I encourage you not to stop there and to expand that network possibility to include organizations such as even your local chamber of commerce, uh, organizations like BNI are great because, mm -hmm. and you can Google those on the internet because that whole organization is based on referrals and everyone shares referrals with each other. But a big one, a great place for you to network is to get online and to have that CV in a PDF link if you're going to reach out to someone on Twitter or Facebook or LinkedIn. But make sure to have that CV in a PDF link so it's easily accessible to the recipient. Well, and what's the best way to keep, you know, a skill set relevant, current? Well, your best way is obviously to upgrade those skills to keep them current. Uh, there's no better way or no surefire way to make yourself more employable than to increase your education, expand your education and your skills. So in doing that and upgrading those skills to keep yourself more marketable on the job market, an important thing to also do when upgrading your skills is to polish that CV and practice those interviewing skills and practice that interviewing style in the mirror. I know it's uncomfortable, <laughs> but again, Get over it. One of the best ways to employ, you know, to ensure employability is to have that interview nailed. So a great thing to do is to always Google the company you're interviewing at before you go and learn everything about them so that you can really nail that interview. It's great advice. Erica Diamond, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you.